if you wanted to know what's distinctive about Brown, it's that we allow our students to explore and we provide them the support of a community committed to that exploration. And the Royce Fellowship is a perfect example of that. This program would not be possible. It wouldn't exist without the generosity and vision of Chuck Royce. It's a manifestation of how we think about education at Brown. It leverages and aligns with the open curriculum. Students are designing really their, their own education. This kind of program is more needed now than ever. Academic knowledge only goes so far, that it's really how we transform it, how we make sense of it, and how we then change our own orientation to the world because of it. In a classroom setting, you sort of are guided to where to find the answer. The degree of independence that you have is limited. I think what was different here is it really was a blank sheet. Like how I answered the question was really up to me. Royce experience gave me an opportunity to just sort of take a deep dive into these questions that um, were at the heart of all the academic work I did as an undergraduate. It was a um, terrifying prospect for me to talk about what I was doing or read what I was doing or share it in any way. And Royce did an incredible thing. You know, it, it gave each of us the opportunity to kind of give voice to this. And it put us in this amazing group of um, people who quickly became friends who were working across every, every discipline. Personally, the most valuable thing I got was the fellowship, was uh, meeting and connecting with people who are so passionate, so bright, so driven, talking with them about the things that interested them. It didn't matter if it was something I knew anything about or had initially cared about. By the end of a conversation, I certainly knew something and cared about it, and it was very informative. It was a wonderful experience, made wonderful lifelong friends, and really helped me think about the way in which our work is interconnected, and that things that might seem actually uh, very divided from each other can actually be pretty similar. And I think looking for connections like that has really helped me in the work that I do today. I do often think of the Royce Fellowship and the opportunity that it provided me with to really get in deep and to ask myself tough questions again and again. This program has made me uh, become a better thinker, researcher, collaborator, and communicator, and I'm so grateful for that. The Royce Fellowship, which I am so incredibly thankful, was instrumental in helping me to achieve my dream of becoming a career scientific researcher. I was able to understand the process while I was a Royce Fellow of developing a research project, obtaining funding, executing the project, and then finally disseminating results to the public. The Royce Fellowship had a hugely positive influence on my time at Brown. Uh, it was the first opportunity that I had to design and conduct an independent behavioral research experiment. And I enjoyed the experience so much that I ended up making it my career. I got my PhD in the same field, and in what felt like a really nice full circle moment, I actually got to cite the publication that resulted from my Royce project in my dissertation. I am now helping to kind of teach the next generation and hoping to sort of use my experiences that I gained in West Africa and sort of through the Royce program, train the next generation of leaders in the law to sort of think critically about the law and um, how power structures are embedded in the law and ways that we might sort of construct a better, more just system. Having the opportunity to work on a project through my Royce Fellowship felt like the perfect marriage of scholarship and self-discovery. As someone with familial ties to the Deep South, exploring the subversive origins of blackface and tracing its impact on African-Americans in the 19th century has better informed my perspective of contemporary performance. I am a pediatric neurosurgeon. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Miami and director of pediatric neurosurgery at the Holtz Children's Hospital. So the research I do today helping children was spawned by my research project as a Royce Fellow. The Royce Fellowship changed the trajectory of my career and actually of my life. Founding the Ullman Cancer Fund for Young Adults with the support of the Royce Fellowship and having that time to seek answers, develop uh, plans and start to implement uh, was critical at a very early juncture. And 20 plus years later, I can honestly say that the Royce Fellowship made it all possible. There is something like very brown about the Royce and just the way it's structured and the way it empowers 
students to sort of intellectually own something. You know, it was different than all the other things I did, and um, and different in a meaningful and positive way. There was a real genius in creating this particular program to imagine a space uh, for an entrepreneurial spirit for undergrads and not only fund it, but then create this space to nurture it and let students and faculty share their work with each other and, and push each other and explore and build on it. That's visionary. So Chuck, I wanna say thank you. Uh, you had the idea and the vision uh, 25 years ago. Thank you, Chuck, so much for helping to support our community here at Brown. Mr. Royce, thank you for establishing the Royce Fellowship Program. Your contributions help Brown to fulfill its promise of an intellectually rigorous and inspiring curriculum. I would love to say thank you to Chuck uh, and to everyone who has um, made this program what it is. Thank you so much. This gift uh, really has shaped kind of the outcome of my life and career, and I am eternally grateful. So I am very grateful for that experience at Brown. Thank you so much for the chance. Definitely grateful for someone who's sort of invested in creating a fellowship that allows people to deepen their study. Um, I think that that's an amazing opportunity and something sort of in retrospect seems even more special. So thank you, uh, Mr. Royce, for establishing and continuing to support this program. Thank you so much, Chuck, for the work that you've done and thanks to all the staff who have supported the program. For all of the direct and indirect things you've given to me um, and, and the rest of the fellows, I'm sure, thank you so much. I wanna take a moment to thank Chuck Royce for establishing the fellowship uh, and positively impacting the lives of so many young scholars. I wanna say a special thanks to Chuck Royce who had the vision to provide fellowships for people who were pursuing um, things that they otherwise would not have been able to do, quite simply. And I am forever indebted to Mr. Royce, and I thank you for your visionary leadership 25 plus years ago that enabled so many of us, myself included, to pursue our passion and our dreams. Thank you so much.